Okay, guys, welcome. This is call number four for the Southern Romantics um, new consultant training. It is on speeches, games, and discounts. It's important to make a good first impression. Your story is the foreplay and it makes the connection with the customer. So they feel comfortable with you and trust you and they want to spend their money with you. So connection and trust are the cornerstones for your future business. Your story makes you relatable and makes your customers more able to think that they might could possibly do this. So make sure that you review the key points to include in your opening speech. Now there's a handy dandy handout for that. And it is, it looks like this um, opening speech. Nope. Nope. Give me just a second. Oh, come on. Oh, can you see that? Mm. Opening up oh. share screen. Aha. There we go. Away from the share. Oh. No. Desktop. Maybe. <laughs> I can't get it to work. Oh. Okay. All share, new share, opening speech, share. Yay, we got it. Okay, so this is the handout. It says it's paused. Resume share. Yes, okay. So this is the handout for how to write your I story. It literally says first. Consider your why. Like, why did you join this business? Um, have, how do you hope that it will change your life? Or how do you hope that it will change other people's lives? Um, I joined this because my why was because I wanted to make extra money. And I didn't want to go back to doing hair full time. Um, I got um, a sickness. And I just didn't want to go back. So I didn't want to be asked about it. So that was my why. Um, it's also like your time to be like a storyteller. Tell, um, like make sure you like have a setup. You introduce yourself, your personality. You tell like what your conflict was like. Oh my gosh, I was working 40 hours a week and I wasn't spending any time with my children. And then, oh my God, I found pure romance. And then just a little bit of like what it has done for you. Think about where you want to go with it um, or always use these four elements like I used to and now so this happened and now pure romance came along so I used to be a hairdresser and I loved what I did but I didn't work on want to work on my feet for the rest of my life so someone introduced me to pure romance and now I do this full time. I do about three parties a week and it was life changing for me. Um, and then like any additional information that like, you know, oh, my husband didn't approve of it or um, my girlfriends were so on board or just little things that might sway them your way. Like, oh my God, I could do what she does. And then always end it with like, I lived happily ever after, or I always say at the end of my speech, um, don't think that you can't do this because I didn't always do this and now I do very well with this. So just make it relatable. Make it sound like it is something you can do. No. How do I turn the share off? Stop share. Perfect. Okay. So make sure um, your, openings, your opening speech, it sets the tone for what to expect at your party. Make sure you include um, your hostess benefits. Like um, I, say, I say, I tell my story 
my name's Beth. I play a game and I say, then I tell a story. And I say, my name's Beth. I joined Pyramids because blah, 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 blah. This is what it's done for me. This is what it's done for my family. This is what's given me. And then I say, and oh my God, tonight, M Melody, um, just because I'm here, she's, it's free for me to be here, girl. And she's getting, when you spoil yourself tonight, you're also spoiling your hostess. Um, she will get 10% of the retail credit. So if y'all spend $1,000 here tonight, she's going to get $100 in free stuff. Make sure you also tell them that they get a free gift. Um, that can be anything from you give them a set of beads for 10 bucks all the way up to, you know, a bottle of coochie. It's just a $20 free gift. Um, make sure you mention any, like, booking bonuses that you're offering for the night or any different incentives. Because, um, like, right now, I'm offering um, buy a bottle of coochie or body do and get a bottle of splash or escape for $14 because those are on sale to us. So it's always just an extra incentive um, to get them to spend a little bit more money with you. Or, um, and I also tell them right now, I am booking for August. I have a very select few dates because we are releasing new products. Just make it sound like it's. Um, you know, not like everybody can get it. Like it's a limited edition thing because we ladies love limited edition or we love that it is going, that it's only for me. Oh my gosh. Um, I always, I do these little boxes. They ooh, came from the Dollar Tree. There's like eight in a pack. I drop a piece of candy in them and an incentive on a piece of paper that says um they have three incentives buy get a bottle of something at your party for free which they were already getting um get 10 percent off an item of 50 dollars or more or get a free gift a sample pack if they book a party and then like oh my god i'm getting them for free already getting free stuff and they get hyped up and they're so excited. And if you get one to pick a box, four or five more will pick a box. So you're guaranteed, you know, at least one or two bookings off that party just by offering them something that they're already getting for free, just a little mind trickery. Um, make sure you tell them the dynamics of how your show's gonna go. Um, so I do a clipboard. I didn't bring that in here. Um, it literally has my um, business card, their wish list, and under that, the customer connection card. Um, then at the bottom, I have like a sticky for all the things I want them to do to find me on social media. Um, and I just tell them, like, this is how it's going to go. Please take my business card. Next is your wish list. That's where you're going to put everything you want, love, need, any scent you love. Then you're going to explain to him. Um, I always use... Um, you, your left is your liquor, your right is your sniffer. You can lick, you can sniff your liquor, but don't lick your sniffer. Um, and they always laugh, see, ha <laughs> ha. Um, I also tell them that all ordering is confidential. No one now will know what you order unless you come out here and drop your box out and say, oh my God, I got this. Um, I also tell them that our parties are strictly for women over 18. We are adult parties. We don't do children. We don't do men. Um, that's so that everybody is comfortable, not just for me, but for you also. So um, don't forget how important your closing speech is at your party. We have a handy dandy handout for that. Um, make sure when you do your closing speech that you recap the party sales and discounts like, Oh my God, if this party tonight is a thousand dollars, Melody's getting a hundred dollars free, y'all. Um, make sure you tell them. Um, I take cash, credit, all good checks. Um, on the order form, there is a seven dollar shipping convenience fee. Even if you take that product home tonight, it's just a convenience fee of me getting it here to you. 
Also tell them that their shipping, I mean, also tell them that their sales tax, it is based out of where I come from. Um, it's based from Greenville, South Carolina, so my sales tax is 6%. Um, it's not based off where I am tonight. Also, like I said, I tell them cash, check, good cash, good checks, credit card, and then um, thank, again, thank that person that had you at their home. Oh, my God, Melody, thank you so much for coming, having me here. Thank everybody for coming. I always like, girls, I had so much th fun, you know, thank you for coming. I can't wait to see you all again. Just thank them all just for coming out because they took the time out of their day to come see you. So, um, the handy dandy handout looks like this. I'm going to try again. Okay, share screen. Closing speech. Yes. Oh, yes. So, it's just going to tell you, um, kind of like, um, how you to do your closing speech what you could say, like some of the scripts that you could say. Um, make sure that you tell them about the shipping and handling. Um, just all the points that I told, I just covered, they're all stated right here. Like, explain the shipping because they always, you'll usually have one person that's like, oh my gosh, I don't, why? I got all my products tonight. That's a convenience fee. I paid the shipping to get it here to you so you didn't have to pay it. Or I didn't have to pay it again to ship it out of the post office. And most people are understandable. I don't ever um, lean on shipping. I don't ever give half off for free. Just because I always have to pay it. And even if you ship it to the post, like, even if you've got it in your car, you still had to pay to ship it to get to your car. So I don't ever give it for free because I pay it. So I just feel like it is something that everybody should have to pay. I mean, you're not going to go on Amazon and get it for free unless you have a Prime membership, and we don't offer that yet. I mean, you could. <laughs> um, make sure that you plant your seed for um, your recruiting game or your booking game throughout the party. Um, always play effective games. Like, make sure you're not just playing, like, pin the tail on the donkey. And because that has no point to your business. You always want things that grow your business. The only um, non, like, growing of my business game I play is an icebreaker. But it is, it is growing for me because I learn all their names and I try to use their names throughout the party. So there are tons, there's like five or six different icebreaker games on the COO and I try to rotate through them and if it's a, a crowd like I've partied with before, like today, I had already partied with three of them. One of them had been to two of my parties. So I asked her, I was like, so what game did we play last time? And she could remember, like she was instant. She was like, oh, that game, that, that, that what if game. Or that dirty little secret game. And so I was like, okay, so we play something different. And I told them, I love to always play something different every time. Because I want them to think. And I try to mix up my demo when it's a recurring crowd. That way they don't think, she's showing us the same thing she showed us last time. And I always tell them there's new stuff coming out. And I always try to get new stuff just to ease their mind. And I always stop midway and I play a recruiting game. There are tons on the COO. My favorite is the envelope game. I say, oh my God, you know that ticket I gave you when you got here because you were on time? I'm going to let you win some more tickets, but it's best little commercial break. And um, I usually get out eight tickets and I have my little envelopes and I hand them out. And if I judge the crowd, I have a four envelope and an eight envelope. If there's more than six, I just give the two out. Somebody gets two. Somebody gets an extra ticket. Um, if there's like five, I'll do four and then give somebody an extra ticket for like collecting the products. Um, just because that gets them thinking and they're like, oh, I can make $300 in four hours or it's only $200 to get started and they give us free training. Um, it's just that you can pull that off the COO 
and really like make it your own. They have like Rosie Romance and they have several, but the eight questions is my favorite. Um, it just gets people talking or thinking about it. And then when you get them in the shopping room, you can say, so, oh my God, you asked me how much it was to get started. So are you interested in being a consultant? And they're like, you made me ask you that. But by then they forgot that. So it's like, oh, did I? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, how much, you know, and they get interested. Um, always play a game that's like going to either also increase your sales because you want, you know, to get your, your retail up and make more money for yourself. Make sure that if you are discounting things, you're effectively discounting them. Don't give away the whole song, the whole store because if they know she gave that coochie last time for ten dollars, then they're going to expect it every time, and then they're not going to want to play full price for it. So never discount. Don't discount yourself because then you're it's a it's discounting our products, and they're not discounted products. They are worth their full value. Um, I like I said, I don't usually discount um but a few things i offer when i play the game any game like all through the night they get tickets and then the, at the end when they give me their customer connection card they get a ticket and then i draw from my ticket and they get like a little packet it's got like an opportunity to both of the opportunity brochures and a sample in it and i say oh my god what did you get for free and they're like oh uh, just like me and I'm like oh my god so you remember that that's that pH balance water lubricant um if you want to trade it in for a full-size bottle I'll give you two dollars off and they're like oh yeah girl I'm gonna get a discount and they, they somebody you most of the time they trade in they want a full bottle um and I just flip my I switch my samples up so they get something different every time I try to always make sure it's whatever I have in stock so I can be like, oh, yeah, you get the $2 off. Um, also, make sure that, you know, like I said, I don't discount shipping. Right now, I'm offering buy a coochie, buy a body do. Those are both $20. Get the splash for $14. That's knocking $4 off. It's re retails at $18. This is knocking $4 off, but it's on sale. So, always kind of look at what's on sale on the coup and go from there. If I'm going to offer something when I first started out I did I heard someone say spend a hundred dollars get a free basic instinct in retrospect that sounds pretty good but then when you add up how much the $28 basic instinct was it was more of a discount you know you're giving away a big discount so I don't do that um I go spend a hundred dollars get put in my VIP club get 10% off any future purchases that's the that's what I offer if you spend over a hundred dollars so just make um and then also you can do like little packages like um I saw on destination success Dana Bear she's doing like summer packages she's doing like um a tickle whip and a burning desire and a blindfold and a in a cute little package and selling them for like $59 and they retail for 66. She said people like numbers that end in nine. Um, so that's why she does that. So always, I mean, just make it your business. So if you're like, mm, I don't wanna do that, don't do it. Um, just make it your, like, just make sure you're not giving away the whole store because it's just devaluing you and the products and you want to succeed and you want them to know that you are a smart businesswoman. You are empowering. So homework for the evening or for before the next call is to email Megan your opening and closing speeches and to prepare your 30 second commercial to share on next week's call. I'll go ahead and tell you. My commercial is over 30 seconds just because I just talk a lot. But you can sum it down um, on the handout. It basically, they give you a, on the CEO, they give you a wrapped up version that says, basically, oh my gosh, I'm Beth. I used to do this. 
Um, it's like, oh my gosh, my name's Beth. I'm so glad to be here. Did y'all know that I used to be a hairdresser and I loved what I did, but I was just so tired of standing on my feet all the time. So someone introduced me to Pure Romance and here I am and I'm loving every bit of it. And that's basically the summed up 30 second <laughs> version of it. Um, so that's the homework. And then next week's call will be marketing, social media, and professionista. Yay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't know.